Hi, I'm Colin Dixon. I'm a PhD student at The Ohio State University in the Translational Plant Sciences program, and I'm here today to share with you a procedure on how to extract DNA from grapes. Basically, my research revolves around grapes and grape genetics, so I'm really excited to get to share with you how to do it today in your own kitchen. So let's get started. To start off with, let's talk about what DNA is. This is the structure of a DNA molecule inside your body. DNA is the material that carries all the information about how a living thing will look and function. For instance, DNA in humans determines such things as what color the eyes are and how the lungs work. Each piece of information is carried on a different section of the DNA. These sections are called genes. You actually get DNA from both your mom and your dad. So your mom gives you some of her DNA, and your dad gives you some of his, and then you have you. That's a little bit of both. Actually, it's just about half and half. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you get your instructions. Just like any good scientist, you want to make sure you have your instructions. It's kind of like a map to tell you where to go. So the first step is to have your grapes. And your grapes can be just any type you buy from the store. They can be seeded or seedless, and they can be purple or green or white. doesn't matter. Then what you'll do is you'll take all the skin off of them. And when you have all the skin off, it'll look like this. And it takes a little while, but it's kind of fun to go through and do it with your parents or just take time and do it. Step two, making the extraction solution. So as you can see here, I already have my one cup of water out and now you have to add one tablespoon of salt. Then after you dump it in, you want to stir it to get it to dissolve into the solution. So this is when it's all done, it's into the solution fully. At this point, you'll add in your one and three quarters tablespoon of dish soap. Now you have to stir the solution gently. You don't want it to bubble, but you want to try to get as much of the soap into the solution as possible. On to step three. Now you want to mash up your grapes that you've already peeled now that the solution is done. You can either use you know, a fork, which is fine, but I like using the slap chop, which works really well. So if you have one of these at home, that's what I'd recommend. And here we have the finished product. You wanna make sure that it's an applesauce-like consistency. Step four, so now we'll combine the mashed up grapes with the extraction solution. So you'll probably wanna use a clear plastic or glass bowl. This is our quarter cup of grapes, and we're just gonna put them all in there. We'll add a quarter cup of our extraction solution, which is an equal volume. And then we'll slowly mix it. Some bubbles will form, but that's okay, just as long as they're not huge. Now for step five. For step five, you'll take a cheesecloth or some type of strainer to strain out the solution you've just made. You should stir your solution for about one minute and you'll see the liquid starts to take the color of the grapes that you were just stirring in there. So what you will do is take the liquid and pour it through the straining device. As you can see, the liquid's passing through, but the solids are not. Time for the last step, guys. We need our isopropyl alcohol, 70% or higher is good. I've already measured out a quarter cup of it which matches the quarter cup of the liquid that we have here. We're gonna take the solution first and dump it into a glass container very slowly. We're gonna do it again, slowly down the side, pour in our isopropyl alcohol. This is very important you do it slowly. After letting it sit for a couple minutes, this is what it looks like in the end. The red is the grape juice that you worked with this whole time. And then the murky stuff in the middle is your DNA. I've let the solution sit for probably more than half an hour now, but as you can see the DNA has really separated out from the pink region. You can even scoop the DNA out and then stick it on a plate and play with it. 
Thank you guys for spending some time with me today. I really hope you enjoyed getting to take some time to extract DNA using the only the simple kitchen ingredients. This procedure will also work for strawberries and applesauce, and I really hope that you get the chance to do it soon, and you had a fantastic time. Thanks.